just a shout. Welcome to the KK Pressy TV. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. We do doll videos, Roblox, baking, and vlogs. We also do short films such as the story of Crazy Face, and we also do Talking Hot Show Challenge. A special thank you to Blue Blood Sports TV. Thank you so much for your support. We will continue to work hard and bring you more content. Bye! Show support. Subscribe to KK Penson TV. If you got children, if you got nieces, if you got nephews, if you got little cousins, if you have friends that have kids, make sure they subscribe to KK Penson TV. Please do that. Show love and show support. Hi, my name is Heather the Heat Hardy and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. This is Amanda the Real Deal Serrano and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hi, I'm Courtney. And I'm Janita. And you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, former legendary five division world champion, former pound for pound king, the man known as Money, Floyd Money Mayweather, continues to poke at his star ace sign fighter in his stable, Mayweather Promotions, that is undefeated two division world champion currently the wba lightweight world champion superstar boxer javante tank davis he does so because he knows now that he has gotten under the skin of javante tank davis by um displaying his relationship and training his rival undefeated wbc lightweight superstar world champion boxer devin the dream haney so footage surfaced of Devin Haney and Floyd Mayweather originally training. Javante Tank Davis didn't take too lightly of it. He didn't take too kindly of it. And he put out a statement about it. With that said, the very next day, Floyd Mayweather being Floyd Mayweather, uh, Floyd Mayweather is going to do what Floyd Mayweather wants to do and doesn't like to be told what to do and what not to do. Floyd Mayweather took it upon himself to post training the very same day again with Devin Haney. Uh, then he stated that a lot of these boxers, young boxers can learn from Devin the Dream Haney on their journey because he taking a liking to Devin Haney because he's dedicated, committed, and will do whatever it takes to be great. We know that's another poke at Javante Tane Davis as Javante Tane Davis, a lot of people perceive him as not being dedicated not being focused and not being committed to the sport. Uh, so by saying so, we obviously know where Floyd Mayweather is going with this. With Floyd Mayweather, you have to read between the lines. This is what he likes to do. He likes to put people in gray areas and let you read between the lines. So that way it gives them the opportunity to say, I didn't directly say this or directly say that. But we understand where he's getting at, right? Uh, obviously, um, there's a rivalry between Devin Haney and Javante Tank Davis. We know this. They had two sparring sessions. Uh, Coach Calvin, trainer of Javante Tank Davis, says that Javante Tank Davis knocked out Devin Haney in sparring. Uh, Devin Haney's father, trainer and manager, Bill Haney, also stated that, you know, um, he stated that um, uh, he admitted that Devin Haney uh, came up short in the first outing sparring session against uh javante tank davis but he said in the second sparring session right uh he made the adjustments and he got the better of that situation in the second sparring session the second go round, right um so there's tension there they're in and around the same division right and um devin haney has recently been calling out javante tank davis stating that he wants that fight right he wants to um, uh, uh, prove that he's the better of the two, right? Uh, Javante Tank Davis is looked at as the cash cow amongst the young, hungry, upcoming superstar boxers in the in the boxing world, right? You know, you have Teofimo Lopez, Ryan Garcia, uh, uh, Vasil Lomachenko is not young, but Vasil Lomachenko. Uh, you have Gary Russell Jr., who's not young as well, but he's around. Uh, you have Devin Haney, Javante Tank Davis, so on and so forth, right? There's a lot of young, hungry, upcoming lightweights, uh, junior lightweights, featherweights. You have Shakur Stevenson, who's a world champion, right? 
So there's a, a, a great crop of, of upcoming superstar boxers, and they're all young. Javante Tank Davis, out of the young bunch, is the elder at 25. Now we know Gary Russell and Vasil Lomachenko are not um, as youthful as those guys, but they're not old either. They've just been around the game uh, uh, um, longer. You know, uh, they're more seasoned, should I say, right? Uh, you have Gary Russell, who's 31 years old, so obviously he's older um, than the uh, other guys. Uh, and um, then you have three division world champion, unified uh, lightweight world champion, Vasil Hitek Lomachenko, who's 32 years of age. So they're not that old, but they're much older than Ryan Garcia, who's 21, Devin Haney, who's 21, uh, um, Teofimo Lopez, who's 22, uh, Shakur Stevenson is 22, you know, Javante Tank Davis is 25. So, you know, they're uh, significantly no, uh, younger than, um, than the, the two at the top. But oddly enough, those are the more accomplished, Vasil Lomachenko and Gary Russell. They've been around longer. So with that said, uh, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, Vasil Lomachenko, and Gary Russell have all been calling out Javante Tank Davis because he's seen as the face of those young crop. He's seen as the cash cow. He's seen as the uh, pay-per-view star, right? As you let Mayweather promotion CEO Lennon Ellaby tell it, he is the next Floyd Mayweather. He is the next uh, pay-per-view superstar, right? And um, But the problem is, in the two biggest fights in his career, he has failed to make weight. He has missed weight, and that has come across as him not being committed, right? Uh, uh, his last fight with um, uh, Yuriokis Gamboa, right? He moved up in weight to 135 pounds and from 130 and he still missed weight for that fight right uh that didn't sit well with floyd mayweather you can see he was visibly upset he walked off the um stage you know he wasn't happy um he didn't you know he came to the fight late so on and so forth he just was not happy all the way around you understand so you know um these situations when they arise when you're dealing with somebody of the caliber of floyd mayweather who's given, truly given his life to the sport of boxing and is committed to the sport of boxing, he doesn't identify with that type of approach and that type of behavior when it comes to the sport of boxing, right? He, he's very serious about it. And uh, Devin Haney has the mindset of Floyd Mayweather. His approach is very, very similar to that of Floyd Mayweather. You understand? So um, he had the biggest fight in his career which was uh, um, the fight between himself and Yuriokis Gamboa. He moved up in weight. He headlined in Atlanta, Georgia. You know, that was big, right? And in moving up five pounds, he still missed weight, right? That's, that's not taken lightly. Floyd Mayweather is not going to take that lightly. You understand? And then he was defending his uh, um, IBF title against Francisco Fonseca, on the Floyd Mayweather, um, Conor McGregor undercard is the co-main event is one of the biggest fights in the sport of boxing history. Only behind Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, that fight comes in as far as pay-per-view buys. And he missed weight and lost the titles on the scale. And Floyd Mayweather wasn't happy with that. But Floyd Mayweather uh, visibly showed it, but he couldn't uh, um, too much commit to it because he had his own fight to uh, attend to, right? So, like I said, that's just not the approach Floyd Mayweather takes when it comes to the sport of boxing and his profession. He he doesn't, uh, um, you know, um, drink. He doesn't smoke. You know, he, he stays committed. He works out. He doesn't gain weight. Javante Tank Davis in between fights blows up in weight. So now Floyd Mayweather is taking Devin Haney around on his jet, showing him around the world, right? And then taking him to his mansion and get this showing off all his accomplishments you know to motivate Devin Haney showing him his belts showing him everything he's earned showing him his accomplishments showing him what he's received the rewards he received for being committed to the sport and obviously doing so on camera Floyd Mayweather does everything is calculated so by him doing this on camera you got it he's poking at Javante Tank Davis once again once again I think that Floyd Mayweather think this is going to motivate Javante Tank Davis. 
but I believe that this is going to help him lose Javante Tank Davis. And oddly enough, unless uh, um, the zone uh, happens to lose their uh, contracts and situation with the sport of boxing, as it seems that they could possibly be on the verge of doing, he's going to have to hope that he signs Devin Haney because he has very limited amount of credible boxers in his stable. He has Roley, who's, who's, who seems to be on the verge of being a, a, a superstar in the boxing game, but he doesn't have too many. And so if he loses Javante Tank Davis, who's clearly the best fighter in his Mayweather promotion stable, then he could be in trouble. And in doing so with a um, moonlighting with Devin Haney, who has his own promotional company and co-signed with uh, Eddie Hearn and Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter and the zone, unless they happen to somehow go under or maybe Devin Haney doesn't resign and choose to do a co-promotional deal with Floyd Mayweather. Who knows? But this may not bode well for Floyd Mayweather. He could overplay his hand and end up with nothing. So let's see how this all plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV or one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L D. B, C, shout out to new media, shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Jasmine. Thank you for watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, soy Jasmine. Gracias por ver Sangre Azul Deportes TV. Gracias.